On behalf of the city, uh, my name is Michael Hornis. I'm one of the assistant city managers along with Kim Meisner. Um, I want to thank you all for coming out today. We uh, sincerely appreciate uh, everyone's support for this project. This has been a long time coming. I was telling somebody earlier that uh, the bus depot that the police department's been in, I think was supposed to be a temporary fix and uh, 40 years or so past maybe. And uh, they're still there. So this is a, uh, I have, I have individual members of each department that I'm really excited to get into their new spaces and that's kind of how I how I sell this vision to, to other folks is I don't want the AC condensate to leak on the lieutenant's desk any longer and we'll get the chief in a good in a good space. So um, well let's get this kicked off. I wanted to um, first thank uh, Burn Construction and their team and the architect groups everyone who has got us to this point it's been a long process it's been very uh very driven by a lot of collaboration a lot of a lot of really good uh really good communication between them and our team and uh and we really appreciate what they're doing um from the city staff side all the department heads and all the staff that have worked on the input for this uh we we sincerely thank you it's been a, it's been a great project so with that, let me introduce Councilman Joe Herring, and he will give the invocation here this morning or this afternoon. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the beauty of the sunshine and the cool wind, and thank you for all these people who've gathered here today, and thank you for this project. We've, our community has needed this project for a long time. I also want to thank Thank you for the men and women who will work in this building. Public safety is not just a job, it's a calling. And all of us in the community are so thankful for the men and women who have answered that call. Lord, watch over this construction project. Please keep people safe. Please let the project move on time and on budget. And please, Lord, let us all come back when it's done and be thankful for what is accomplished here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now we'll have uh, remarks from Mayor Judy Eichner. Good afternoon, everybody. Is this not a wonderful, wonderful day? Yay! When you think how long we have been waiting for something like this to happen, it's, it's amazing. And uh, it is just so, so exciting. Uh, I didn't think it was quite 40 years. Uh, that number is just awful. So it's about time that this happened. And the group that's going to occupy these, this building, uh, Joe mentioned it, and thank you, Joe, for your prayer. Um, they deserve the very best. They give us the very best every day that they are, they are working, and they deserve the best, and this building is going to give them the best. So I am just so grateful for it, and they bless us every day, and it's about time that we're going to be able to bless them with a good place to work. I want to thank all the team that worked to make this bond passable. Uh, many, many people put in many, many hours, and I just thank all of you for all of the work that you did. I thank all the voters who voted to uh, pass this and make it, make it happen. So we are just so thrilled to be able to have this, and in what, a year and a half? Maybe we'll be able to walk in the front doors of the building that will sit here. So it's just it's just thrilling, and uh, we are we are so blessed. Thank you all again for being here, and uh, have a great time. And now we'll have a few words from our police chief, Chris McCall. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's about what we can do. Perfect, perfect. 
Well, thank you all for being here. What, a, what an exciting and anticipated day this is. Uh, we've at last reached the point that uh, we're ready to turn dirt, pre prepare to watch the uh, Kerrville Public Safety Facility start going vertical in this field behind me. I'd like to thank uh, some of the mayor. I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat some of that, but I would like to thank uh, uh, several folks for, for getting us to this point. First of all, the citizens of Kerrville who supported the bond, uh, who got us here. Uh, the bond committee members uh, who donated their time to research and, and gather information to make the appropriate assessment for what this building should be. Uh, the city of Kerrville team uh, who've uh, poured in countless hours up to this point preparing us uh, to get to this day where we can start turning dirt. And uh, last but certainly not least, uh, our team at, uh, at KPD, and as well as uh, past administrations and chiefs who had the vision to uh, get this uh, thought out there uh, and uh, get us started down this pathway many years ago. Uh, our current building has, uh, has served the community uh, well over the last uh, 30 plus years, uh, but the demands of public safety have pushed our facility beyond its limitations. Advancements and growth of our department uh, have been stagnated due to limited building space and infrastructure of the building itself. The new building that will spring from the lot behind us will not only alleviate those obstacles, but will position us well for the future demands of public safety within the city of Kerrville. This will not only be a space to work, but a launching pad for the future of our organization. From a purpose-built dispatch center to technology the, to support, uh, to a technology-supported training space, to the ability to set up evidence and processing labs for both physical and digital evidence, uh, to an area created to conduct safe exchanges for our citizens uh, near our building. This building places us in a neighborhood where we can collaborate easy with our law enforcement, easily with our law enforcement partners and criminal justice, justice partners uh, who will soon be our neighbors. I don't know if the sheriff's here, but uh, there goes the neighborhood sheriff. <laughs> uh, this will be a, a place where our KPD team uh, can be proud to call home. Thank you all for being here with us today and supporting such an exciting project. I'm pleased to introduce my future building mate, Fire Chief Eric Maloney. I also want to thank everyone for coming out here today to share this momentous occasion on this uh, beautiful, cool, and windy winter day. We're thankful for the support of our current and previous City Council, Public Safety Bond Committee, City Manager's Office to include our previous City Managers, Mark McDaniel and E.A. Hoppy, and most important, our citizens for voting to build a fully functional and practical public safety facility, bringing together police headquarters, fire administration, information technology, dispatch, municipal courts, and the Emergency Operations Center. Constructing an actual fire administration is a proud moment in history for the Kerbal Fire Department of today and the future. The plans to construct a fire administration dates back to 1972 with Fire Chief Milton Rogers with the construction of Central Fire Station. Unfortunately, fire administration was removed from the project and instead we purchased a 900 square foot 1930s house on A Street that housed the fire chief, fire marshal, and fire secretary. Fast forward to the 1990s, fire administration include a training officer at fire station number three an EMS coordinator in a shed adjacent to Central Fire Station. In 2004, Fire Administration, Fire Prevention, and EMS Administration moved to the lease property at 87 Coronado, and the rest is history. Today, we have the privilege to build a Fire Administration to support our Fire, EMS, Fire Prevention, and Training Division with room to expand for the future. This facility will also house the first emergency operations center for the city of Kerrville. In the past, we have set up the EOC and other city conference and training rooms with no notice during disaster. This requires our IT department to set up our workstations, laptops, phones, and trusty dry erase boards. Plus, we have to migrate to the location. This new facility will be designated and equipped EOC that is ready to respond to emergencies 24-7, 365. We will be able to operate the EOC for numerous emergencies 
monitor the weather, wildfires, active threats, and prepare for disasters. This will improve the coordinated response of public safety, public works, and other key stakeholders to protect the safety of our community. Now, if we could just delay the solar eclipse until the public safety facility opens. But I heard that's in three months. In closing, a sincere thank you from all of us at the Kerbal Fire Department, past, present, and future. The public safety facility is more than just office space, but a means to bring together police, fire, IT, dispatch, municipal courts, and the EOC to bring a stronger and more resilient future. Thank you. So before we get to the actual groundbreaking, uh, I just want to acknowledge, if you'll turn to the right, you'll see the entire team of folks that has been working on this. Uh, and I just want to give them a round of applause. We really appreciate y'all. And with that, I think it's time to take pictures. So